Hey everybody, Kelly Sue with Cleopatra Art Studios here and we're gonna paint this Winter Welcome Snowman Porch Cleaner. Um, and I just, I want this as a resource for people who are purchasing the product um, or doing any of our porch cleaners actually. So let me see if I can't, I see what John's meaning here. I'm not popping up real quick. Get on here, see if I can't find you guys. There you are. Found ya. Okay, I just have to write something and away we go. All right, so how tall is this? It's 60 inches. I'm going back to late grade school math. That's five feet, right? Right? Five, six inches. Yeah, I think so. Um, and this is on pine. So what we do is we sell the 3D components. You go down to the Home Depot, flutter your eyelashes and say, can you cut my 12 inch board at 60 inches, which is five feet. I think we can all agree on. And it should go, it should go very quickly. I really like the font. And we do purposely have winter broken into so that it can fit in our boxes, but it just goes back together pretty easy. I'm just going to use the tape trick and put my welcome on here. Boom. So if you can't make it to a paint party, you can still do the super, super cute porch cleaners. So I think it's a man thing. I know you know what I mean. I'm not slamming men, but um, surprise. Don't go in there with your tape measure because this doesn't really measure 12 inches across. I'm pulling it out because I thought it was the silliest thing ever. It's barely 11 inches. So many jokes right off the bat. So many <laughs> jokes. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm not normally here on a Sunday night, but it's fourth quarter, we're super busy, and I just think you guys should see some of this delightful projects and see how they work. So I'm just doing the tape trick, putting all my 3D elements on a piece of tape. He's got his little, little arms. And I swear to you, I looked at these, uh, can you guys see this? I looked at these forever and I went, why is his eyes down here by his mouth? That's so weird. It's not, it's his rosy cheeks. His eyes technically should be way up here. I knew that, but I was still looking at it forever going, what is going on with a snowman? But you have to see it all together. It'll be fine. It's going to be just a-okay. But just learn from me. <laughs> I was like, what's going on here? Why has he got eyes that are super low? So I took everything out so it's easy to paint. I'll just go over it with a sponge. Get it done. And then this is a scarf. So if you're just joining, tell me what you're doing tonight. Are you in your lounge wear? Or you already started keying up for work? Hey, Shelly. Shelly, Shelly's here. Hey, Shelly, this is a porch cleaner. Um, we have them all the time at our paint parties, but we recently put them on our website because so many people said, hey, lady, how can I get that? Okay, so on our demonstration piece, the back of our board is... I'm looking for a, um, <laughs> um, our backer board is um, dark brown. But the other day ago, I made the Santa Claus is coming to town sign with a steely silvery blue, which seemed incredibly appropriate for the background of a snowman painting. So it's nice and dark. And I kind of fell in love, and a lot of you guys said you really, really, really love that color. Shelly's in her loungewear. I'm in my yoga pants all day and my hiking shirt, so this is my Sunday attire, you know, if we're not churching it up. I'm looking, I'm like, I just had dinner, I want to make sure <laughs> I'm not wearing it all. Okay, so how did I make that? So you guys decide, you know, like pine does not come clear. You're not gonna get clear, you're gonna get naughty. It's a naughty pine, y'all, um, which would be a great name for a business. <laughs> um, naughty pine, there you go. I'm gonna get my dark blue, my black, and some silver. I might not have enough dark blue. You're gonna want a big paintbrush and a nice plate. 
This blue is just Deco Art True Blue, Deco Art or Craft Smart Black, and then Deco Art Dazzling Metallic Shimmery Silver. Now you don't have to unload your bottles because we're gonna thin down the paint a bit, but let's go ahead and mix it up. I probably don't want all that black. I'm not going for midnight. Oh, shimmery. Guys, it's so gorgeous. Keep in mind that the silver is already going to thin down the paint a little bit, make it a little transparent. So I'm going in with some water, and my big paintbrush. So you can paint it on and wipe it off, which I may. Let's see what we end up with. Let's see what it, yeah, 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 I see what I'm doing. Paint the sides a little bit. So I have it, hey Gail. Yes, Gail, go to bed, watch me tomorrow. Watch me tomorrow, you're so good at keeping up. I'm not normally here this time of night, but um, I didn't wanna miss out. I let Sabrina paint my nails, didn't she do a good job? And then we wanted, <laughs> we're idiots. We drove to another state to get gas because it's cheaper. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Well, how cheap could it be? I spent like 369 on gas instead of, I don't know, a lot. Um, and it's really like, it's 20 minutes away. It's not a big deal. But I know, I know. But it's more along the lines of, I spent that time with my daughter who's grown up so quickly, more than getting gas. I miss that girl. She's 17, she's growing up. We saw a coyote, drove past the pumpkin patch. So I had a pretty good day. All in all, you know what I mean by, I think this is gonna be a great color for this. So I don't think I'm gonna wipe it off. I'm not really painting it like a fence though. I'm kinda of curious whether I have enough paint. Do your edges. So it's basically paint the backer board, step one. Step two, paint all your pieces. Step three, glue them on. So the one thing I'm gonna caution you about is if you are in a very, very cold, if you're in Alaska, Montana, some could argue Spokane, um, you're going to have to read your glue parameters, meaning if it gets colder outside than what your glue is rated for, your pieces could fall off. And that's not really like the end of the world or anything, but if, you if you're handy, what you can do, ooh, it might explode, um, is put some pin nails in your letters. They're not gonna break, they're just literally gonna fall off because the glue failed at that temperature, that's it. So that's it. Um, or you just bring them in. That's fine too, I need more water. So I'm making myself a shimmery blue. That's my little trick is I put a little metallic paint in. Trying to see if that's about the same color. It looks a little darker. It's okay. Just gonna mix it right, right in there. Right in there. That was my sneakers. Squealed. So maybe pick a bigger paintbrush. This is taking a little while. Shelly, Shelly, we go to Post Fall State Line to Maverick and get gas. So. Um, Shelly, I'm closer to, um, you know where the casinos are in Idaho? I'm not in Coeur d'Alene, but like over by Plummer. So that's only like, we just go down Alder Road and we're there. And it's, I gotta say, God knew what he was doing when he was building that land. Over by Plummer Road, or um, Alder Road. Wow, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. You know what, I think I might just start going dark. Going darker, like ombreing it darker. I'm just, I'm, it's my paint, I can do it. If I want, if you don't like it, avert your eyes. And so I might add some more silver at the bottom. Just kind of the ombre it. <laughs> Never make enough paint. Well, I would not be any 
different. Busy day, busy day. It's fourth quarter, so we are not, it's not like we have the weekend off, but it's nice to sleep in a little bit. So if you're having, um, if you're having a paint party and you're all doing porch cleaners, having a ladies' night in, paint your front, paint your sides, top and bottom, then go pour yourself another glass of vino or mommy margarita, or in my case, a skinny mojito. Hang on, my paintbrush. And go back into that middle color. And then um, you can start working on a little, a little elements as soon as you're ready. Okay, come on, stop making me look bad. There we go. So obviously, if you're having a paint party at home, and it says right on our website, we're not going to provide paint kits for you because you'd need 90 gallons of paint. We, have, we are eight miles from Post Falls. Oh, okay, Shelly. That's good to know. Now I know where to, I know where to find you. <laughs> um, so I would just go down, have everybody chip in and go down and buy, you know, a couple of the colors you want. Definitely that silver. I'll make that silver work. Okay, I'm just going to blend this up into my dark. Uh, I wanted a little ombre, and then I'm going to finish with more of a silver tone on the bottom. I'm hoping that shows. And then I'm going to just pop this aside to dry. So we have... Work this down into my silver, and then I'm going to put on the back wall to dry. So it's dark, dark, dark blue, shimmery, light blue, down into a silver blue. Kind of what it's hoping for. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it is going on my door, so I want it to be a little bit better. So, guys, if you're just joining, we are painting a porch cleaner. We sell the kit. You go down to the Home Depot, send them into the Home Depot or get it yourself. And then um, it's, these are, so you obviously can't see them way in the corner. Somebody put baby in the corner. They're about five feet, 60 inches. So here's where it gets quirky. They're 12 inches, but really they're not, they're 11. But they sell them as 12 inches and then I know for a fact that they um, don't come at, at 60 inches, so you have to cut them down. What do you do with the spare? I'll teach you how to make a charcuterie board another day, and then it would be free, right? You just have to get a couple handles. Okay, here we go. I put that aside. I put everything on tape, and so it's just a matter of painting till you're happy and gluing it on the board. So if you're hanging out right now and you got a little libation in your cup, tell me what it is. Mine is great crystal light. <laughs> Shelly, I don't know what Harvard Road is. At all. So I know where Micah Peak is. So this would go at the bottom and it's my scarf. And right away, I'm going to say I'm going to definitely put some teal the white silver teal light blue hmm maybe maybe just maybe use your favorite color so if you're following the Seahawks that would be a great time to make a Seahawk man that stuff is bright love it okay gonna need some brown so what do I have here these are just basic fluid acrylics they're inexpensive compared to the little bottles but I really like them because one and done. One and done. 
Okay, an orange metallic because my orange is very carroty. Okay, I'm gonna go in and start painting. It's really simple. You can sponge it, you can use a brush, you just make yourself happy. So with a sponge, it's a nice light coats that um, you have to just do multiple coats of, but then you don't have the, um, the oozing over the side like a paintbrush would do. Thanks for joining tonight. Sorry I look like this. Uh, yeah, Teal. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, Donna, you said something. Happy Sunday. I'm having some pumpkin pie. As soon as I get off, I'm going to reward myself for doing a late night um, live with this tiny little sliver I have left. I didn't eat it all, Donna. I gave it to Sydney. Hey, so Donna, your um, recut of the word town is ready and your order of your three pack that you ordered the other day ago is ready. I was just having John cut your, your winter gnomes for your birthday. He tried, he was like, well, I got some fall gnomes. I said, no, it's the winter gnomes. Let's give her the winter gnomes. <laughs> so I probably will click the button, local pickup ready tomorrow if you want. Um, I am at uh, Rockford on Thursday also. If you're like, wanna come in and just paint them, keep me company. Um, okay, so it's light. So in a minute, I'm gonna give it a second coat. So, these look like eyeballs, they're not. It took me forever to figure out what those are. They're the rosy cheeks with the dot for the smile. Don't, don't ask, I don't know. <laughs> Teal baby. Yeah, Susan, Susan gets me. If you're new to our channel, I guess it's not a channel. If you're new, um, I have a love, an unhealthy love of all things teal. I really do. Now, I, it's not like I'm gonna go get a teal car, um, maybe. But I do like it as like accent color. But I also like red too. Oh, I need to check this out someday. These are a really cheap fluid acrylic I've had for a couple years. Hmm, another day. We'll check it out another day. Because I always want to give you guys options. All right, so I'm going to pull up phenacronum. Magenta. What is that? Fancy word for, hey, it's pink. It's a bluish pink, it's magenta. Lady, that's hardly even anything. It's a pimple. Yes, I know, but it's a more than enough. So I'm gonna pull out some white. Watch this. Like, I'm gonna get like a toothpick amount. Uh, this quinacronum starts with a Q. I'm gonna put a little bit in my white. It's kind of almost like, see, and that's too much. You guys see that? It's too dark for my rosy cheeks. It's like um, the food dye when you put it in with your frosting and you're like, oh, that's not enough. I'll scoop out some more. And then you're like, holy crap, that's too much. Back it up, back it up. All right, here we go, here we go. All right. We'll check it out. Oop, it's not dark enough. I really thought it was. But it has to be wow, bright. It has to um, show up on the white face. I think we can all agree. Snowmen typically have white faces. Definitely don't think you should go play with a yellow snowman. <laughs> Funny. Anytime I think of yellow snow, I think of um, Monsters Inc. And my daughters love to eat that yellow ice cream, you know, from the snow, the abominable, abominable snowman. Okay, so next I just have um, the nose, which is orange. It's orange, but this orange, this orange is pretty bright. So I'm gonna put a dot. Oh, okay. Someone's in the kitchen with me. I've had a I've had somebody else in my studio this week. <laughs> They're helping. <laughs> I think they can dump my paint a little bit. They were helping. That wasn't me. I do enough mess ups myself. So this one, um, I noticed the nose does not have any stripes.
stripes, you know, like the, where the root kind of goes in and goes across. So I may fix that up in a little bit. Um, let's see. So I want to show you my face. My snowman face has one coat, but it is dry. Hold on. The lights are well behind the camera. Okay. Oop. So it's not quite white enough. I think we can all agree. I'm just going to grab my, my uh, little spongy poo. There we go. Now the Liquitex Basics has a pretty good white. Dang it, I got the one from the white. Right away, you guys could be having a drinking game right now while you're watching this, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh my gosh, happy Sunday, my husband. Okay, hold on, I'm not, I'm not keeping up. Elder to Harvard Road, really? I didn't know that. Is that kind of where that um, back 40 um, pumpkin patch is? Susan, or not Susan, um, who am I talking to? Shelly, I'm talking to Shelly. <laughs> All right, so this is our, you're just catching up, just showing up in your pajamas while I'm doing some art. This is our snowman porch leaner. I said it, porch leaner. We don't send the porch leaners through the mail. We send the components. I don't know how I feel about the cheeks. All right, so black. I'm gonna definitely do my blue acrylic black because I don't wanna be painting them 100 times tonight. This one's a Liquitex. Do I wanna do a paintbrush or a sponge? I'll just do a paintbrush. So it's going pretty quick. There's a lot of pieces, a lot of pieces, but I am happy knowing I only have to do the black one time. Boom. Anything else that's going to be black? No, but these are going to be a golden brown that's deep, so let's work on that. So I don't want to waste my paint. Okay, gold and brown. You know, I have my fluid acrylic gold. Let me pull that out. So there's nothing wrong with my gold or my brown. It's just real cinnamony, and I want it a little deeper, but I don't want to lose it in my dark background. So what I'm going to do, which, by the way, is looking pretty good. Okay, that's a pretty bright gold. I'm going to try it. My theme is shimmery, glittery porch cleaner. Give me some hearts or thumbs up if you like that idea. Maybe, maybe you're basic and you don't want all that stuff and that's fine. I still want to be friends. <laughs> but everybody here knows I'm a little bit extra. Just a little bit. <gasps> oh my gosh. You guys are killing me tonight. Whoop. <laughs> Let me get you started. All right. My paintbrush was a little damp because I did just clean them. Definitely a couple coats on the arms. So why I love painting on the 3D wood shapes is it meets you right where you are. If you are just beginning, give everything a block color of paint, maybe a little dot here or there, and everyone thinks you're a genius, or if you've been painting for a really long time, you can go in and highlights, low lights, extra, extra, extra stuff. And again, the world thinks you're a genius. Love it. So let me know if you have any questions. It doesn't even have to do with tonight's project. I have done five of them with you this week, I think. And tomorrow night, me and John will be live. 
with our Monday night project of the week. Shh. Can't tell you what it is. Mainly because I don't know what it is. <laughs> All right, okay. So it's starting to get very convoluted here and you know that my ADHD gets out of control with the more I get on the table. Okay, I'm gonna put those back there to dry. You can go ahead and paint the sides if you want. If you don't, if you're a lazy painter like me, I typically don't go ahead and paint the sides. All right, so we'll clean my pen brush. I'm gonna dig in that paintbrush. It held enough paint. I got it, I got it done. Okay, I'm gonna leave it up to you whether you give your snowman face one more coat. Honestly, I would. Oh, but I did want to show you this. Okay, so yes, I used my sponge, I used my fluid acrylic, but I was noticing the other day that my basic non thin down. Um, Liquitex Titanium White really did a pretty good job with coverage and making it a nice bright white. Of course, I would have had that anyway if I probably would have stayed with the brush. Just here we are making bad decisions and it's okay. We're not going to jail for them. We're just making our bad decisions. Boom. You can get in there and get all fluffy. Maybe he's like a poodle. Um, you can put some heavy body acrylic on there and really make him have some texture. You can bring in some snow text, which I saw was $4.99 plus a $30 or 30% off coupon at Michael's. And I would buy them now because in a month they will be hard to find. And that's where you put the 3D snow on everything. All right, that's all I'm gonna do. You can do some highlighting, some low lighting, knock yourself out. Tonight, since we're painting and it's super late at night, I'll probably save some of my little surprise detail work for tomorrow. Okay, so I could do, I could do Seahawks colors, but can I do Seahawks color and teal? <laughs> like a lime green and a teal? Let's see. Hmm, that would be all winter colors. Hmm, I can mix the teal with the silver. You guys think that's gonna be crazy? It might be too bright for some of ya. I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna go back and paint my snowflakes. You will have four snowflakes. One of them is for your welcome. It's the snowflake that represents the O in your welcome. But if I paint them now, I can glitter them up and they'll be fantastic. So why don't I paint one and I'll sponge one and we'll see which one looks the best. Honestly, because they're so honking big, if you had a can of spray paint that had primer built in, that might be the way to go. If you're like, I don't think I would roll them. There's just, it's a lot of wood. Typically I would just use my sponge, but white's hard. It doesn't like to, um, what's the word? The coverage, it needs a primer. A lot of people do gray for primers. Wax on Danielson. Come on. Okay, so I want to say right away, the Liquitex shows a lot of texture from the paintbrush. You don't really get that with the sponge. Still requires a second coat. It's okay. I'm gonna go in with my um, fluid acrylic, but I am gonna use a sponge, so I already know it's quick. The application is super fast, but coverage might not be what you wanted. Do you have to do white 
snowflakes. Heck no. Maybe in your world they're soft, cotton candy-ish. Nice. Dude, I totally went down my side. Hmm. And that's why I film earlier in the day most days. So did you guys see my photo of our moose this morning? Would that make it niece? I think they're niece. Three, a mama and the two babies. If you haven't seen it, check our post. Um, I think it's like the second or third post today. Oh, they were so sweet. They were in the exact same spot that the daddy was a couple weeks ago. And he was a gentle giant. He was so sweet. I had to walk back and forth to the shop. So I'm like, head down, head down. <laughs> I'm not, nothing to see here. And he just was fine. He just laid there. And then our dogs would go outside. And as soon as they did, they took off. I mean, the dogs have a, a yard, but hmm, they're not quiet. Okay, so the first coat looks great. Um, I do prefer the sponge method. I just feel like I can really accomplish a lot. Come back. You can use a makeup sponge if you want. Um, paintbrushes are fine. The sponges, I stay a little cleaner. So we got some people in their jammies tonight, watching their loungewear. I know a lot of people see me in the morning. I'm kind of going to go in with the, um, it's not heavy body. It's the basic right out of the tube. I consider that like canvas paint, not, hmm, kind of fly pretty quick. Typically, I really um, recommend craft paint and or food acrylic. Oh, I wonder how he got off the tape. I let him off the leash. Let's see what happened. Seriously, how did? Okay, that's okay, folks. She's losing her mind. All right. I wanted to get this done today. We have a lot of local fundraisers, both in King County and here helping some schools raise some money. So I knew I was gonna be a little busier getting those all going. Okay. Keep going with that for the purposes of this show. I probably won't keep going with that just because there's other things to, to do. Okay, so. How many of these are in the way? Everything's in the way. Here are the color choices I picked. Go back there. This can just go away. Make sure you use the tape trick. Hmm. Winter. I see winter being very soft. Here's winter. And I love the font. The font is very busy. Very perfect. Win. Tur. Broken and, and purpose. Not broken. Um, we cut it in two spots on purpose. It goes right there. Number one, so that it can fit in our box. And number two, it doesn't break. Okay, so if I do... It's a really soft blue. I don't really love baby blue. I might have to mix it with silver. And some teal, which is too dark. I think we can all agree it's too dark. But I think, if, oh, let's shimmy shake it. Give it a shake, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Give it a little shimmy shake, guys. Okay. Um, silver, silver, silver. You know what, I love Bahama Blue. Let me see if I can find it. Is it right here? Bahama Blue. I'm gonna mix it with Bahama Blue, which is from Deco Art. One of my favorite teals, or turquoise, whatever you want to call it. And then I may bring in some silver. I 
I'm just going to use the back side of my paintbrush to mix it. Why do I add silver? Well, I like it because it makes the color deeper and lighter without making it pastel. -y. So I wanted to see. Well, I want to add uh, some silver. Happy face. Let's try that. So that's going to be for the winter. Let's put the winter on here. Oh. You think it's messy? This was just where the big board was resting. Yes, it's messy. I get it. But I have to be able to prop it up so y'all can see it. Okay, so I'm just going to flip over my Martha Stewart sponge. You guys, I wrote the Martha Stewart team. I said I've got like probably, I could sell you 2,000 of these tomorrow. Can you please make them available? I'll take 10 myself. Um, as far as I know, I haven't heard back from them. I just wrote them this week. This may be a little too much of a punch of color. What do you think? Is it too much of a punch? So this is our board. This is our board. I don't know if you guys can see that. It may be a too much of a punch. I might want to silver it up a little bit more. Hold on. Just a little bit. So it's not so bright. Let me do a comparison. It is a little lighter now. Yes. You gotta know what you like. Let me just clean that off real quick. I think I can get away with that. really quick. Super duper quick. And guess what? It's just paint. I can decide when I put it all together. If it's not really going, I can decide what I want to do with it. It's kind of hard when my big board's over there and I'm right here. The W has a little curly Q in it. I like it. I love the font. Remember, you don't want to be painting like this. Lay it flat so it has some support. fundraiser with um, back in King County with Lake Wilderness Elementary. So maybe they should, can watch this first. Her. I'm kind of loving it. It's got a little shimmery um, silver. Hold on a second. Let me answer some questions. <laughs> Chill, Joe. Oh my gosh, Joe, 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 Joe. Hey, hey, it's been a while, girl. Hmm. Apparently, the key is to be on at night <laughs> for you, Joe. Okay, so moving them to the side. I really love it. It's beautiful. Now, I don't really want a brighter color than that. That's going to be my pop. Okay, let's do, this is the one that's giving me heartache. Heartache and headache. Mm. Y'all, okay, it's going underneath here. It's his scarf. It doesn't have to be rocket science. The backer board's a bluish silver. It's dark. Um, this isn't really teal. This is light blue permanent. But it is, hold on a second, uh, it is 
is um, fluid acrylic, so it's pretty strong, intense pigment. So much for those, we've got nail redo. I'm splattering everywhere. Joe, what have you been up to, girl? Haven't seen you for a while. Not sure if you're working different shifts or something. Okay, I've got this. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna throw everybody off. That's pretty mint. That's pretty permanent mint. It is bright aqua green. They're not lying, it is bright aqua green. You know what I'm gonna do? You know it. This blue isn't much different than my teal. Believe it or not. Teal I just put together. Here we go. Not too different. My teal is deeper. It's okay. Oh, look at this bad boy. It's from my canvas painting days. Come on. It's a great round brush. Oh, yeah. I was thinking I was gonna do a circles this color. Yes, thank you so much. So that's my trick if I'm painting happily along and my colors are too bright, I add silver metallic paint into them. It dulls them down keeps that intensity, I'll show you. Makes them a little shimmery, just a little. I'm trying to get back to where the light is. That's on my Christmas list. I need new studio lights. I need to finish my flooring in here. We got so busy, we never got around to doing it. Love it. We could just do silver. I don't think I'm gonna like that blue, so I don't think I'm gonna use the blue. I just, I don't like, personally, this is just not my favorite. I don't know why I bought it. I was just in there grabbing, grabbing colors. But what, I'm gonna have to think that out. Hmm, those like these. There's his face and his nose. I'll add some silver to it and we'll see. Does it have any redeeming qualities? <laughs> at all. At all, at all. And I might feel different in the morning when I'm not so feisty. Right now I'm feeling a little feisty, y'all. I'm looking for a nice round brush, which will allow me to go around. Around, around. Okay, all right. I'm not hating that. It's blue, but it's frosted blue. Let's see. Okay, guys. Call me crazy. <sighs> Don't call me late for dinner. Okay, so this is what I made for dinner. I don't know what you guys had. Um, there's a little Chinese market in town, and I think that's what the name of it is or Oriental Market, I, I think is what they call themselves. And it's right off of Sprague, and they have the best um, pre-cooked chow mein noodles, it's called that, I don't know what to call them, stir fry noodles. And um, so I picked up some, and I had some teriyaki chicken marinated in the freezer, because I like to plan ahead. I know, I'm not that organized, so why? I really like the teal for winter. Yay! Yay, yay, yay. Thank you so much, Zeus. Um, and so we kind of did this stir fry, I guess. Why is stir fry so much work? I mean, keep in mind, I had the meat already marinated in my freezer, pulled it out, thawed it out. I had, some, I had a package of beef and chicken. And the noodles are already pre-made. All you have to do is put them in like some water to plump them up a little bit, right? And it's 
bottle teriyaki sauce. But then there's like mincing, mincing, mincing. I don't even want to look at my kitchen. It wasn't like, hey, I think that we'll get healthy tonight. It wasn't like that at all. Okay, so right away I'm noticing that now my dots do not stand out, so I may go back to just the aqua dots. If nothing else, this is what I tell myself, and you have permission to use that too. If the color doesn't look amazing, consider it a base coat. It's a base coat. Hey, Carol, let me see what you got going on. Oh, I haven't updated. Hold on. I'm still looking at Joe. Hey, Joe. <laughs> Okay, Carol, I can see you said something on my phone. There you go. It's cooling off finally. Down to 78. Have my next order come in your way. See you tomorrow night for class. Yes, ma'am. I'd like to tell you what we're doing. And it's not that it's a secret. I knew what I want to do. I feel like, oh, it's time to do a Christmas tiered tray. Like one that specifically says either Santa or Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever. Um, that's what I'm shooting for. But we'll see. John might have other ideas. Um, and your order went out Friday or Saturday, Carol. So I would look for it tomorrow. Maybe Tuesday, but probably tomorrow. I can't remember if you two or three days. Thank you so much. Okay, this is his scarf. And I think you can agree that his dots are just not, they're not really speaking to us. They're not really intense enough. So I'm just gonna go into um, that teal, that aqua, without, without the silver. There you go. That should pop it up. Oh yeah, it popped. Pop it, pop it, pop it up. Love it. So Carol, if you're still here, what we're painting is our porch cleaner, and it reads, um, welcome winter, has a snowman looking up, and some snowflakes falling. And what's great about this and its wording is you can have it out all winter long. You don't have to pull it in when the holiday is over. Um, Carol, those of us that get snow, <laughs> and you remember when you lived here, um, you know, we last year we had snow till March, man. I would have been probably crying if I still had this out in March. All right, I got a couple boo-boos here. Um, I'm just going to, now I'm gonna go over, I am going to go over my cheeky, cheeky look just one more time. I might have gone a little bit too light, let's see. So it's a little pink. I didn't want them bam in your face pink. Let's see what it looks like after it dries. So it's all about making yourself happy. If you want them super pinky, ugh, going back in. I'm going back in. If you want them super pinky, make them super pinky. Just remember they're not eyeballs or cheeks. It took me forever. I just look at it looked at it okay so call me crazy but I kind of want to see what we got before I decide on the welcome I mean is that crazy that we see where we're at okay let's go some of them are still wet it's okay I'll touch them up it's really late okay okay let's go back Let's go back. Oops. Let's go there. Making some of you guys dizzy, I'm sure. Right, here we go. Here's my board. I can decide whether I want to give it another coat or not. Let me see. Can you see everything? Maybe not this corner. Okay. Here we go. Let's start putting it together and then we can talk everything else. So on the very bottom goes his scarf. Okay, and I can decide if I want it to pop a little bit. Maybe it's not different enough. Okay, the 
skeleton. It's his ectoskeleton, because I don't know what to call it. Okay, I leave a little space on both sides for his arms. Here's a nose, it just literally goes here. It's gonna need a little love yet. And what looks like his eyes are not his eyes. His eyes would be up here. Um, these are his cheeks. Let's just check it out. Okay, so we got his coal in his mouth right there. His coal. And they should all fit. But if you put a little paint in the hole, it can get a little tight. Oops. I have to touch this one up. I don't know what I did. Okay, now the cheeks. And now see how, what direction the lumps of coal are going? You kind of want this to go, oops, this one goes over here. So that's how I know. There you go. So this one goes over here. Turn it that way a little bit. So those are cheeks. Okay, I'm getting fingerprints. I think fingerprints all over my black. Hello. Would you please fit? There you go. You can see they being touched up. Okay. Arms. I'm gonna put a little gold on my arms. You don't, oh, did I paint the wrong end? Wait, 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 wait. No, nope, I did right. Okay, you don't really want them, here they go, where did I go? Well, they go like that. You don't want them off because they'll break. I mean, part of you are like, oh yeah, I want them wide. No, they're just gonna break. Oh my gosh, how many of you are looking at these going, maybe, okay, it looks okay on the camera. I'm looking at this going, it's eyeballs, and he's looking at me, but they're not. <laughs> okay, so I wanna get this. I want to put this on before. Oh, it goes up. So it's okay if there's a little bit off, but you don't want to do a lot off. Oh, I have to go up here. Okay. It's gonna be a little bit off. Okay. I don't need to see what I'm doing here. He's looking up, he's enjoying the weather. I almost feel like I could flip this over and paint it this way. You can see this is the wrong side, but I almost like that better because then I don't have to worry about. That's why I like to do these live so we can figure it out. But I don't have to worry about him being off the board. What do you guys think? Is that okay if I flipped those over or you, do you have your heart set on the other side? So give me, tell me what you think. This is the right side and this is the wrong side. Does it matter? There you go. Ta -da. They just sit like that. I almost like this side being painted though because it lines up with the outside and I know that I don't, I wouldn't go over. So guys, tell me, wrong side or the right side? I kind of like the wrong side. I might always, I like the flipped. I do too. I like the wrong side. I always like the wrong side. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so um, winter. Winter goes like this. Now you could go the other way. If you don't want to read up, read down. It's okay. I think I need to go a little bit further out. You just, I gotta remember. Oh, there's a little spot here that they connect. See what that looks like. I love how that color turned out. The contrast, remember, I'm gonna paint this. It's so funny, it looks right on the camera, but all I can see are these eyeballs looking at me. <laughs> You know, to get around that, you could just paint these pink. It's fine. Ha <laughs> ha, that's so funny. Okay, so then I have all of my snowflakes, and they're huge, and I love them so much, and they're going to be so sparkly with glitter. But then I wasn't sure what color I wanted my welcome. So this is what I want to lay out. It's my welcome. 
snow everywhere. This one, I love it. It looks like something from Elf. Things from heaven. How are we doing? Okay, so now the question is my welcome. Okay, I'm going to paint these brown. Yes, so um, if you're just joining, you have a choice of going this way. I decided the wrong side is how I like mine because it lines up with the outside and it keeps me from going over. So I will paint them. I'll paint them a lovely brown that I made the other side. So what are we thinking for the welcome? I'm thinking ugh, gray. I'd be good. Um, but teal, I think would be too much, but this, this color is not too bad. This blue with the silver, it's enough different than this turquoise, I think might be okay. But I think kind of a silver would be really pretty too, like paint it gray, then paint it silver. Um, any ideas guys? I'm not going to do purple. Okay. Just no purple. Um, but I was thinking something that would go well, but still would pop a little bit. I like that. I'm waiting. Come on, guys. Maybe, maybe my internet's slow. My internet is slow. Sure, guys. Oh, crickets right now. Just crickets. Okay, so I'm going to turn this around real quick. The pinkish color of his cheeks. Donna wants pink. Donna, pink might be outside my comfort zone, girl. Maybe. I'm not sure. I think we all decided we're going to flip those, but I was thinking the gray silver. Yeah, because I'm more... So this was my pop of color. This, this was my pop. And then the orange is the pop. <laughs> it's outside your comfort zone, too. So, Donna, what were you just like? Will she do it? Will she do it? Were you guys taking bets? Okay. So we're gonna go with the um, the bluish silver that we have down here. And how about this? How about I do one? And if I if we hate it, if we collectively hate it, we can easily paint it something else. Just looking for my holder real quick. Here we go. Okay. And you know what? Glitter. Glitter's our friend. We like the glitter. I already have some made up, right? Yes, got some made up. Two coats might be necessary. If you paint it gray first as a primer, you know, it's even gonna be better. Maybe I should do that with one of the letters. This one may be too close. Okay, it's only one coat. Where's my E? It's only one coat. Let's see. Is it enough? Let me do the E down here. I don't have a lot of paint. Good thing we know how to make it. Okay, remember it'll get more intense as it dries and with the second coat. Is that enough? You can always put a little silver on the edge to kick it up. Yeah, you know what? We can blow dry it. No, I did 
undo my, my hydro dryer. Hold on a second. We'll give it a second coat right now. We'll decide. I'm laughing because I have mace over here and a tactical light because I went walking in the dark with the dogs. Don't you guys have mace and a tactical flashlight <laughs> in your paint space? Oh my gosh. This font is fantastic. Love it. All right. Let me make a little bit more. Remember it was the, it was the light blue permanent, 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 permanent. Okay, she's getting goofy now. Okay, with silver. Silver paints, which I put somewhere. I think I put it somewhere else. There it is, it fell over. This one's a little lighter. Let's check it out. Yeah, that one's too bright. So silver comes in different shades. I like the one that's just a little bit drab. purposely not looking at your notes because <laughs> I kind of want to see if I, how, what I think about it first. Am I going to like it? Am I not? Redemption. Oh, that's kind of bright. Vindication. Let's check. Okay. Is that, okay, it doesn't look like it, but this is blue light blue. This is turquoise or teal. Hopefully it's different enough. I wanted it fun but sort of elegant too as I'm sitting here in my yoga pants and my work shirt. It's cold out there in the shop today. Okay. I think that's a different enough, don't you? It's subtle. I say use your favorite colors. It's so, let's just go ahead and go for it. So I need a little bit extra. Where's my, where's my plates? Here it is. I'm gonna make some extra. You don't have to use my colors, use your colors. Do it up. Ooh, that's a lot of silver. So it used to be, I'm telling on myself now. It used to be on Mondays. I could Monday could be my easy day. I could sleep in. I could, you know, like pop into the website and pop into sales and just kind of my easy day. Get my nails done, go grocery shopping. And um, we've kicked it up so many notches, and you guys have been so responsive. Thank you so much for everything, that Monday is no longer <laughs> lazy day. It's not a lazy time at all. At all. I mean, I made up for because I worked all weekend, so Monday was just kind of like, well, I'm gonna sleep in a little bit, I mean, a little bit, um, take the dogs for a walk, maybe go for a hike. I kind of miss Mondays, but I know it's just because it's fourth quarter. Mondays. None of you better stop off at my house because we'll put you to work. Uh, that's for sure. Darn tootin'. Okay, so this one doesn't have as much silver, so it is a little brighter. Okay, I say they only have one coat, but I think we can figure it out. What I can do is pop some silver along the side for shading. C O M. And I think if I hit the welcome with some glitter, it will definitely be different than this. It, it looks different to me, but on the screen, it looks very similar. Wow, it does just spin and spin on the iPad or the computer. John does complain about that Monday nights. Oops. Let's see. 
they said a little bit different. Okay. No, uh, that was right. They are. They are. Damn. So I just face them before you glue them. Okay, guys. Let me see. How are we looking? Are we looking okay? Wow, just spinning and spinning. Okay, welcome, winter welcome. Doo -doo. And like I said, I'm gonna paint the back side of these and that way I can line up with the side and slide it down. I think that is a little bit more structurally sound than having them hang off the board at all. So I just line them up with the outside and it touch his body there. Okay, I have some repairs to do. I have some glitter to do and some final detail work like Dippin' Dots. So what in the heck are Dippin' Dots? So what I say they are is you to take some paint, make yourself a little pile, find the back of a paintbrush that's gonna represent your, your dots and you're gonna dip and dot some snowflakes here and there. So you have the big ones represented, and now you need some small ones. It's very satisfying. So I always wait until I have my pieces glued exactly where I want them. So my, I'm not like breaking into the intersection of a Snowflakes with one Dunkin' Dot. Maybe three or four. Don't put them in a row like little soldiers. Bounce them around. Have a good time. I wouldn't do this angry, definitely. <laughs> Snow Dot's angry. I just feel like I should ask John to make you one little small one like he's almost catching it I don't know what y'all think about that um okay so basically this is our welcome winter snowman porch cleaner and I definitely wanted to have this ready to go I have some um fundraisers that are looking for this but also so that it's a good resource for people that have purchased the file and they want to see how the heck do we do this? Not difficult at all. Super cute. Okay, so you're gonna wanna seal this if it's outside. You wanna seal it every year. A um, Couple different things you can do is if you get a lot of water, you don't want it to get direct weather. Hopefully you have a porch. You, if you want it shiny, and this is a game changer. It makes it look amazing. Uh, triple thick clear. This doesn't have a lot of white. I would use this then. Um, if you're using a lot of white, I would recommend a polyacrylic Minwax. If you're in a lot of water, I would recommend a marine base sealer. Do it every year. And then the last thing, again, that I want you to look out for is check the cold rating on the glue that you use. Make sure that it's rated for the temperature you live in. And if you can't find anything that goes that low, once you have these glued in place, I would just drive one or two little pinhole nails in place just to keep them all there and good to go so thanks for watching tonight i hope you liked it and if you don't that's okay we'll fat something else for you i really love the background color oh thanks susan really appreciate that um this will go perfect for me other people might want something else for their um their board design but thanks a lot for watching tonight and have a good night okay bye